Welcome to Splendor in the Raw. I'm Chef Tina Jo and on today's episode of Splendor in the Raw we're going to be making jicama apple salad with a savory cumin dressing. Now I've spent a lot of time in Mexico and I've become very familiar with jicama. It looks very similar to a turnip and, or a large radish. Um, its skin is thin. It can be gray in color, tan, or brown. This baby here is brown. It has a short root and it contains white flesh. Um, the skin is typically peeled before eating it. I don't like it with the skin. It's a little bit too chewy. And so you can really see um, how the turnip, this little fellow right here, and the jicama really resemble one another. Um, the flavor of the jicama is very sweet and it's starchy. It's reminiscent of some apples or raw green beans. I love to eat jicama with a little bit of salt and lime juice with chili powder. It is fabulous that way. It can also be cut into thin wedges and dipped in salsa as a healthier alternative to chips. So make sure you try it that way. If you've got kids, they will love it. One of the things that I really love the most about the jicama is that it does not discolor. Amen to that when it's exposed to air for a while. So I really love this. I appreciate it. So you can see why it's a great option for vegetable platters and salads. Now jicama contains a high amount of vitamin C. It's low in sodium and no fat. How fabulous is that? So we're going to get on with the recipe. Now this is super, super, super simple to make. I'm going to put my mixing bowl over here. Now you can see that I've gone ahead and I've already diced my jicama. It's about half inch pieces. You don't want the jicama to be too big. You really want to be able to, you know, pick the jicama up and with the apple and take a bite without having to cut that. I'm going to add the apple. Beauties that they are. And we've got some orange pepper, orange bell pepper. Now when you're choosing your peppers, make sure that you don't really ever eat a green pepper because a green pepper is just not a riped pepper. Go with the red pepper, orange, yellow, things like that. And we've got some sweet corn, a little bit of cilantro, and we've got some green onion, and um, the pumpkin seeds I'm going to put on the dish afterwards and you, you should really do the same thing too. That way um, they just look really pretty on top and you can mix them in. Now I've made the savory uh, cumin dressing beforehand. Again this is super simple. You just put it in your blender and whip it up. It's a piece of cake. I'm going to add some of this. And typically I don't use all of it. I go ahead and I make a little bit of a larger batch and then stick the leftover dressing in my refrigerator in an airtight glass container. Um, that way I can have it for salads and other things. Now I'm going to use my helping hands. I love these. For those of you that watch thingamabobs, these are in there. These are so amazing. I'm sure you've seen me many a time on some of my films. Um, just dig in with my hands, my own personal hands, trying to mix things up because sometimes the tongs are just too big. And these are amazing. And you can see, oh, the salad is fabulous. Mix it all up there. Okay, that looks wonderful. So I want to show you one of the ways, there's actually quite a few ways that you can, you can eat this. You can simply eat it as is, just put it on a pretty serving dish and go for it. And you're going to add your nuts to the top. Um, or one of my favorite ways is actually with sprouts. You can put it on a bed of greens, mix everything up. Move this to the side so you can get a really great view of that. So pretty. Really light for the summer. Beautiful dishes. So I want to show you also when you cut your jicama, you know this this guy is pretty big so you really wouldn't use it all in one serving. So when you cut it, you can go ahead and place it in one of the green bags and 
the jicama, honest to Pete, will last for up to three weeks, sometimes four weeks in these green bags in the refrigerator. So pick one up. You can get them year-round. If you haven't tried jicama before, don't be intimidated by it. It's really a wonderful addition to our vegetables. All right, I'm Tina Job. This was Splendor in the Raw. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye for now.